Hey guys, and welcome to Pretty Eyes. My name is Lavana. If this is your first time tuning into this show, hit that bell, subscribe, so you can get future notifications for things that are coming through. First and foremost, I would just like to say, Happy Easter, and I know that I'm late. Yes, I'm late, and I'm sorry, and I'm going to do much better. I've been working on projects, okay? So please excuse me if I look a little tired this evening, because I am tired. I don't work all day, you know, just doing the stuff we got to do. But I thought about that I did not post a video out on Thursday. So today, I want to talk about being consistent. Okay, and that goes to me first. It goes to me first before I even start saying what y'all need to do. Okay, I'm not here to preach to you. I'm not here to tell you, uh, you better do better, do better. I want to talk about being consistent. Being consistent basically means if you say you're going to do something, you need to do it. You need to hold that through. That shows a lot of efforts in yourself. It shows the type of person that you really are inside. If you, um, like for example, this show, like I tell y'all all the time, this show is for domestic violence survivors, life after, and I'm very consistent in saying, um, you know, what it means to me and then how the Lord dropped this down in my spirit to do this actual show for, you know, the YouTube, um, for domestic violence survivors. And I don't want people to think that just because it's for survivors that it cannot be for people that are actually actually still in an abusive relationship. This is something that is supposed to uplift you, um, also give you, you know, ideas and encourage you to move forward, you know, to the next step in life. So I want to talk about being consistent. And that would mean if you have a date with someone, and I don't mean a date with a male or a female, like trying to court someone. I'm talking about if you have a date of things that is supposed to be done and you've um, told some people, hey, I'm going to be there at 8 o'clock sharp, or you meeting people for tea or coffee, be consistent. You know, if you're telling people that you're going to uh, do something, hope, keep your word. You know, consistency goes right along the line with being, um, keeping your word. You know, your word is your bond. So if you say you're going to do something, you know, really follow through. Make sure that you do that because a lot of people may really depend on you and you want to be a person that people can depend on. If you're not that person that uh, people can depend on you or you're a little inconsistent or you drop the ball at the dime, you know, don't sign up to do things. Don't tell people, yeah, I'll be there and don't show up. Um, or if you are a person that really have good intentions, you know, reach out prior to the engagement, you know, whether that's a lunch date, if that's going to, to do a run, you know, at a park or whatever it is. If it's something that you cannot meet with, you know, it's okay to go ahead and text that person. Me personally, I'm the kind of person that I prefer you to call me, you know, call me. I want to hear your voice. And not to see if you lying or nothing. So I don't want you to get that, that in your head. It's more or less, to me, it's a respect factor. Uh, anybody can shoot a quick text. And that's fine, too, because it still forms a communication. Um, I just, me personally, if, if someone tells me they're going to do something and they're not able to make it, that's totally fine. Because I understand that things come up. So I'm not a petty type of a person. This message really goes out to the people that you know you have signed up to do something, whether that be gym, Bible study, uh, a volleyball class, um, just walking with your coworker after work. You know, I have a coworker that me and her are always talking about, we're going to walk after work. And, you know, we both have the same schedule. So both, about the time we get off from work, she always say, you ready? And, or sometimes I say, you ready? And it's always one of us that's like, uh, let's try it again next week. And it's just because we're tired from the day, you know, from being at work. So I told her last week, what we got to do is we got to hold each other accountable. When I say, come on, you ready? You got your walking clothes in the car after work? We need to just push ourselves and we need to go. I told her we need to stay consistent because if I say no and she may want to or vice versa, sometimes I want to and then she says no, but both of us keep saying no, 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 we're never going to get it done. So the, the moral of this is to keep yourself lifted up, keep yourself 
encouraged, but definitely stay consistent. If there's something that you need to do and you haven't done it, get it done, y'all. Get it done. <laughs> you already know this show is Pretty Eyes. This show is about showing eyes. I'm talking about fitness. I'm talking about consistencies. I'm talking about abuse. I'm talking about families. And I also shared um, some family shelter information about a week ago. So I hope that you guys got a chance to jot down the information if it's for someone that can use it. If it's not, you know, go ahead and send that over to someone else that it can be helpful for. Um, I know that it is late tonight, me doing this recording, but I just was thinking about consistency. And I was like, you know what? I haven't been consistent. I did miss last week, but for the most part, y'all know I show this air. I air this show every single Thursday. And it has been going, I say, since about uh, the beginning of November when I first started. No, I take that back. The beginning of October when I first started. So I say out of all the shows since October, I have missed two shows. So I need to start being better. I understand that it's going to be every Thursday. And I'll be saying, tune in, tune in, so y'all can get the get the information. Now, some of y'all might tune in. And I don't want y'all to be like, she said to tune in on Thursday. And she didn't even do a show. So I'm going to do better um, no matter what is going on. But like I said, I'm working on this event. So there's still work being done. Something's wrong with this camera. I don't want y'all to think that I'm just saying, uh, tune in and then don't have nothing. So when I'm saying that, I'm trying to gather guests. I got some people that's coming in, flying from different directions. I got people that's even coming from d way across town. They live like an hour or two hours away from me, you know, just so they can do this show, you know, because they're very interested in it. And it's something that they want to tell as well. So I don't want y'all thinking I'm telling y'all to just tune in just to listen to me keep saying, there's going to be someone on the show. There's going to be someone because there is going to be someone. But lo and behold, like I told y'all before, I'm working on this event. The event is going to be around June the 5th. Um, the dates are still, I'm, I'm pushing for the first week of June. So I will still keep you posted. I will still let you know when that's coming up. But the number one thing that I would like to stress is consistency. Of course, pretty eyes. You already know. Yeah, right now my eyes look a little tired. So I'm just saying, I'm tired. But I said I better do this video because that shows consistency. It's all about, sometimes we be tired, sometimes we got a lot going on, but it does not matter if you have putting your foot in the door and it's something that you're doing, you know, that you need to encourage people or you're helping people, uh, whatever it is, keep that going. Keep it going because somebody might just be waiting to see you say what you want to say. And sometimes people may not be waiting, but at least they can say, you know, that show does air every Thursday. So if that means if you walk before you go to work, be consistent. If you run every Saturday at a track, be consistent. If you party all the time, well, I ain't going to say be consistent with that because you already know I used to party and that, that kind of consistency doesn't get you anywhere. Okay, so I'm not knocking nobody, but you already know what I'm going to say next. Psalms 91. Be consistent. Be consistent in the word. Be consistent in what you do, you know, because that shows the person your true character, you know, about who you are. I don't know why this something's going on with this camera tonight, but I just want to say I love you guys. Um, I have not forgot about you guys. I'm going to still keep leaving messages. I'm going to be keep on doing recordings. You already know this. So next week, I believe I will have a special guest. I'm going to have a special treat for y'all. I'm not going to even tell y'all what we're going to do. I just would like for you guys to tune in next week. Hopefully I can get pull, the, pull this you know person through because this person has a very busy schedule and I understand. You know, so sometimes I may have a person and then I have another person. And then I'm double booking myself and then I might say, hey, no, don't do this. Let's do this next weekend. You know, we're going too fast and then things may not work out. So I just want y'all to know that I do love y'all. I want y'all to stay encouraged. Please keep God first and stay consistent. And don't forget, y'all, number one rule. Show those pretty eyes. I love you. Have a good evening. 
Stay consistent. Don't work too hard this week. Work enough, of course. You know, keep your job. But don't work too hard. Stay consistent. That goes a long way with people. I love you guys. And you have a great evening. And I'll see you next week. Consistency.